This tutorial is intended to show how to add a link, specifically a video link of read aloud accommodations to a Google form. You can do this with any type of Google assignment, but today we're just going to focus on the Google form side. All right, so you go into your classroom, whatever Google classroom you want. I'm just on my homeroom because my homeroom kids are the only ones that get accommodations. And I want to add a video to my math assignments for this week. So these are the four Google Forms that my kids have for this week for math. And Miss Ruwer made a read aloud video recording of her voice reading each question to the kids. They can still receive those accommodations on their IEP. So the way that she did it is she saved them as a Screencastify video. That's not the only way to do it. That's one way to do it. You could also do it as YouTube and insert it at the top. But the point is that you're inserting a link. So first thing is I'm going to go get my link. Miss Ruer emailed it to me. This is Place Value Quiz 2. So I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to go back and I'm going to find my Place Value Quiz 2. That's Quiz 1. Okay, Quiz 2. All right, now here's the important part. You can look at this and be like, I don't have a way to edit. I can only answer. Now it looks that way. Okay, but the teachers have this little editing tool down here, this little pencil. That's the key. So you want to edit this form. Now the way that I do it, and that has seemed the easiest um, for me, and it could be wrong, you know, like in a couple weeks we might decide this isn't the easiest way. That's totally fine. For right now, this is what I'm doing. Instead of doing this as a question or a link, I'm going to do this as add a title and description, and I'm going to put it underneath where the kids put their name. Now, the reason that I'm doing it this way instead of as a link is because Google Forms won't let you put a link that is not a YouTube link. So that's why I'm just taking the Screencast-O-Matic link and I'm pasting it there as a title um, and description. And so the title would just be questions read aloud and then I just paste the link down here in the description part. So you know, as any with any Google document, you don't have to save. It automatically saves it. And you look right here, it says all changes are saved in Drive. So that's um, that's the way that I do it. And I'm going to go back right here. I'm just going to check. I'm going to open a new version of the form and see it's already right there. And so if the kids click, it opens in a new window. So they can listen to the questions being read aloud in one window. Like they could kind of put them like beside each other. Like if I were a student, what I would do is I would have one window right here and then I would have the other window kind of over here, kind of small since there's no um, video element to it. And I would just have it here and I would listen as I got, you know, to this first question. I would listen to the question and then I'll pause the video. Then I'll answer. And if I needed to listen to the question being read aloud again, all I would have to do is rewind. So that's the way that I am... Um, adding the accommodation of questions being read aloud to my Google Forms in Google Classroom. And again, you can do this with any type of Google document in G Suite, but today I wanted to focus on Google Forms. All right, hope this was helpful. As always, please reach out with any questions. I'm happy to help.